PCU stands for pre-commissioning unit. The ship's commissioning is scheduled for April 6th. Now that's when it will become the USS Arlington. Ten on your side, military reporter Art Khan was pierside when the ship arrived at its new home port. Although the Arlington is technically still just a pre-commissioning unit, this ship, named for the city that was shocked by the September 11th attack on the Pentagon, is much more than a new addition to the fleet. A motorcade of first responders from Arlington and the Pentagon provided a hero's welcome to a ship that is not yet an official member of the Atlantic fleet, but already executing an important mission. Honor the people who died and honor the people who who make sure this doesn't happen again. The crew of the Arlington stood proud as the first responders from Northern Virginia saluted them as only they could. I think it's an important remembrance of what happened that day and the people who lost their lives and the efforts of the many who came to try and save lives and uh, assist those that were injured. At homecoming, space on the pier is usually reserved for family members. And while these first responders may not actually be related to the crew, they are a family. And I'm just, just honored to be here, especially for this event. We're all here to remember what, what happened on that day. Herb Walk's son-in-law was killed in the attack on the Pentagon. He'll never forget that day, and he doesn't think you should either. I don't think we can ever stop remembering it any, any more or less than we uh, want to forget something like Pearl Harbor. And to see a ship like this is remarkable. It's going to be around for years to come, which will be something to help us keep from forgetting. Several tons of steel from the wreckage of the Pentagon was used in making the ship's hull and forging a lasting memorial to the victims of that terrible day. At Naval Station Norfolk, Art Khan, 10 on your side. And 10 on